Nearly twice as many women are affected each year by depression than men. Regardless, millions each year deal with this debilitating disorder. Dr. Ken Robbins, medical director of the psychiatric unit at Stoughton Hospital, as well as senior editor at health.com and caring.com, back with us today. Thanks so much for being here. Pleasure, Carly. Really appreciate it. All right, depression. A, a lot of people are really sure whether or not what they might be feeling is something just minor, the blues, the funk, or if it's something that they should be getting help for. How do you tell? Well, if the badge is loose tonight and you're feeling unhappy, that's probably not depression. If, if you're feeling severe symptoms that interfere with your life, so interfere with sleep, appetite, concentration, motivation, and your ability to do your daily tasks, and it lasts for at least a couple of weeks and often for months, uh, then you should get evaluated because that's a more serious problem. Common. Millions. Exactly. 12, 12 million? Well, 10% of our population, and actually 10% of the population worldwide, will at some time in their life experience one of these serious depressions. Why more women than men? You know, I don't know the answer to that. Nobody knows the answer to that, whether there's something hormonal, whether it has to do with women's sensitivity. Uh, I think one of the theories is that some of it gets masked in men because they drink more than women. Interesting. Okay. You spoke recently on the doctor's show, uh, but this is a, a topic that's coming up a lot. It's about a drug called ketamine. Talk about this. And, and is it cause for concern? Well, there's, there's reasons to be excited about it, and there's reasons to be concerned about it. Ketamine is a, is a drug that has been used as an anesthetic agent initially for veterinarians and then for physicians, and it's been used widely as an anesthetic agent. It's a drug that has a fairly narrow therapeutic window meaning it works in this narrow band and if you use too much you can create some very serious problems and people can die. But it's being used to treat depression. It's being used to treat depression. It was a club drug, drug for a while. It was, it was called Special K, so people were abusing ketamine. Uh, but bizarrely, um, and the way these medical discoveries come up, just accidentally somebody stumbled into the fact that people get better with depression. And there's a big study going on at the National Institute of Mental Health uh, about 15% or so of people who are treated for depression just don't seem to get better and they have it chronically and they're very difficult, challenging to help. With ketamine, taking those most challenging people who have this terrible depression, 70% of them get better. Okay, we've got to go. Dr. Robbins, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. A lot more to talk about where this topic is concerned. We'll